I'm Mike Simmel from fxguide.com for Wired. This weekend, Tatiana Maslany is up for an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series for her work on the BBC America show Orphan Black. For four seasons, she's played Sarah Manning and about 10 of her clone sisters. And it's a remarkable piece of acting performance. And of course, it works in part because of the visual effects team that she works so closely with at Intelligent Creatures, headed by Jeff Scott. For this special Emmy episode, we thought we'd break down just how Tatiana goes about doing one of these major sequences. Each sequence, there's normally a VFX tour de force of some kind at the end of show, some real clone-on-clone -clone action. And this season, it was between Sarah and her evil clone, Rachel. Tatiana works with an acting scene partner, Catherine Alexander, to produce these really complicated sequences. The writers write a scene, it gets storyboarded, mainly from overhead, and then they have a walkthrough with the director, DOP, and just some stand-ins. Only when they've worked that out do they bring in Tatiana and her acting double, Catherine, and of course any other actors in the scene. The actors then try and work out to how to use the space inside the kind of rough constraints that Jeff and the team have set up as a framework. Then they come back the next day and they film it. When Tatiana is moving between roles, the Change over time is really limited by hair and makeup. So Cosima to Helena is about the worst at an hour and a half, whereas Sarah to Alison is down to just a mere 20 minutes. Here the transition between Sarah and Rachel, well it might seem simple, actually took over an hour because there was a lot of things happening in this sequence. Rather than constantly adding blood to Sarah's face, the guys at Intelligent Creatures decided to have just three different levels of blood makeup. And then in post they did a heal and reveal by using face tracking to actually animate the blood flow on her face. The knife in the leg was one of four different knives on set, either a real knife, a half knife, a rubber knife, etc. But in the end, all of those knives were replaced with a digital knife to give it real shot-to-shot -shot consistency. The team always likes to shoot the entire sequence perfectly sold, so the editor can actually cut and use any particular part they want, whatever the drama requires. Although here the editor actually required even more and asked for the team to go back. So a second unit went back a couple of weeks later for pickup shots. The sequence was hard as Rachel is crawling all over Sarah. Oh, and a couple of other aspects. They don't use blue screen, so it all had to be rotoed. And in addition to that, there are a whole lot of lights that they couldn't move because matching lighting is incredibly important between the Sarah and Rachel take. So whatever they set up, they had to stay with and then remove in post. In this past season, the Intelligent Creatures team did two and a half times as many effect shots as they did back in season one, some 750 shots. But it's actually the season two finale, the so-called clone dance party, that wins the award for the most number of man hours. It actually required 5,000 man hours. That's about a team of 12 people for a month for just two minutes of screen time. And perhaps a close second to that would be the dinner party finale from season three. Oh, wow. Everybody, everybody quiet. This is it. This is the call. Oh, and if you're looking for some tricks in that scene, nearly all the chairs were glued to the floor. And if you look really carefully, you might count a few more wine glasses than might perhaps be needed. That's because glasses were added in post to hide composite scenes. The epigenetic implications themselves are just mind-blowing. It's rare to see any actor or actress producing such a range of performances as Tatiana does in Orphan Black. And thanks to the visual effects team, it's almost impossible to watch her and not think you're looking at a set of completely different actors instead of just one young, extremely hardworking actress. Well, don't forget, please subscribe for more behind the scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wired. I'm the chosen daughter, whether you like it or not.